Today we're going to talk about a subject that most people don't talk about. What's up everyone? Welcome to this very humble channel. Now, let's get right on into it. People are focusing too much on friggin' the diet. They need to be thinking about your environment and how to detox from toxins. Exercise, hydration, pooping daily, staying away from toxicities, urine. These are just some of the ways that you detoxify. A lot of you have formed plaque in the colon. You are going through a thyroid issue, so you're cold all the time and you're not sweating enough. This is the main subject of today's video. It's about sweating. The reason why I brought up this as video content is because I've been mowing my front lawn, which is two acres, with a little toy lawnmower. The front two acres. The whole place is 10 acres. The front two pasture is a lot of work. And the grass grows like you mow in the morning and it's like you didn't mow by the afternoon because I'm in Tennessee. Yeah. So I'm using this little tiny push mower and I'm almost killing myself. Not necessarily, but I'm really pushing my body hard. But one thing that I've noticed in the last couple months from the heat and from the physical exhaustion and the work is me sweating and I'm sweating a lot and I started noticing when I was looking at my face I started to notice a detox a de-stress pores the quality of my skin started to improve yesterday I had a client who had a series of blood tests and her uric acid and urea was high. These are protein byproducts. And she had developed gout at one point. And I started to think, how many people actually sweat their bollocks off? I don't mean by sitting in a sauna, I mean the way our bodies were designed to move, to exercise. I'm in a human, a human, a humid, environment and if you just go like this you start sweating and the benefit of me sweating a lot more than normal is me sweating out urea lactic acid ammonia chemicals heavy metals I just didn't know how toxic I was you can drink reverse osmosis or distill. You can exercise. But if you have a thyroid problem and your body runs cold or you don't like to exercise and you're not sweating out these toxins, you can literally see it everywhere. If you're doing a carnivore diet and you're eating too much protein, through the series of videos that I've done, you can clearly see that excess protein that is not utilized converts back into glucose. That's not enough to restore your glycogen storage in your muscle. Just not enough. People develop hypoglycemia. They become dehydrated. They don't drink enough water and they don't know how to balance their sodium and their potassium. And they don't even know what type of magnesium to utilize for their particular body. But the sweating the skin as a detoxification organ is everything. Once you figure it all out in terms of your dietary macros, uh, you try to get your stress down, you wear your blue blockers at night, but you don't know how to detox. So detoxification comes in different forms, like stool is an important one, but you have to stay hydrated. When you sweat, you're going to sweat out toxins. You're going to sweat out ammonia. You're going to sweat out lactic acid and, and, and heavy metals and things of this nature. But 
everything has to be balanced. You can't just start sweating and then be drinking coffee, which is a diuretic or black tea or caffeinated tea because this detoxification organ, the skin will not function and as you want it to in terms of your liver enzymes being stable, your GFR, your kidney filtration, all of these things must be balanced between balancing your electrolytes, not just changing the diet and moving and sweating. This month has been a very interesting month because I've been mowing the lawn to keep the mold off the grass for my animals, for my horses. And so the grass grows so fast and then it's, there's been some humid days and I'm sweating. I've never sweat this much before and my skin has never looked this good before. Never. Not in my entire life. I did get a well, so I'm drinking well water. I did get a great filtration system. I stopped buying my meat at the supermarket. Of course, I got my macros on point. I eat my thymus and my liver and my kidneys. But the one thing I wasn't doing was detoxifying enough. But the one thing I was not literally doing enough was sweating. I know that because I hate sweating. And so subconsciously, you kind of encourage the non-sweat. But here, I'm so fixated on having the best life for my animals. I don't care if I sweat three gallons. I'm going to sweat. And with that, I'm releasing a lot of toxins that we're building up besides the stool. You have toxins trapped in your lymphatic system, in your lymph nodes. You have to balance your electrolytes. You have to drink enough water. And you, where's my... Where's my Celtic salt? You guys know that I've been experimenting with Celtic sea salt. It's got less salt. It's not a rock salt. It's got more water in it. So I'm able to put it in a glass of water and look at this. That is that that uh, sort of grayish foamy color. Foamy. Gross looking color. <laughs> the fact that it's not completely transparent is the Celtic sea salt. So I'm able to drink water all day long. Add salt tiny pinches of salt to the glasses without over putting too much salt or sodium into my diet and balancing my potassium. You have to balance potassium with your salt intake. And then the water, the amounts of water, this is all individual. A lot of people ask me, how much potassium? How much sodium? How much water? And I'm like, it really depends. If I'm outside, mowing my lawn and I'm sweating bullets, I'm probably almost going to hit a gallon because I am, you can take my clothes and you can wring it out. I'm losing salt and I'm losing water. So those are the two things I'm going to replace. But if it's the winter time, I'm never going to be drinking that much water with that much salt added. And everyone is different. This video today is all about understanding that doing a carnivore diet or a keto diet with weight loss and fixing your autoimmunity, your gut, your SIBO, your plaque psoriasis, your eczema. This is not going to happen by diet alone. Pooping, hydration, exercise, balancing your minerals and getting all the toxins out is the way that you get your body to do what you want it to do. It's not about the macros at the end of the day. The macros are at the beginning of the day. And the first thought you should have is, can I do this? Am I disciplined enough? Because to reach your physical health goals, you got to train like you're training for the Olympics. You can't willy nilly this or cycle stuff like people are talking about doing the ketogenic diet as a cycle. When oh, I do fat, high fat, then I do carbs. Nonsense. Don't listen to this garbage. You either are going to drive ketosis or you're going to integrate carbohydrates and be glucose dependent. But if you choose to be glucose dependent, then you have to make sure that your glycogen doesn't empty out and you hit that wall of hypoglycemia or dysglycemia. But at the end of the day, being able to balance everything and sweat those toxins out, I realized in my own journey to stay healthy at 55 going on 56 is to get out the toxins. Sweat, stool, your poop, 
sleep, hydration, and exercise, which I'm about to do right now. Do not forget that without detoxifying, you can have a protein buildup, which weighs down the liver and your kidneys and ultimately your gallbladder. So hydrate, sweat, make sure you don't have a urea or uric acid buildup. And I think you you will be enjoying life. For, and I think you're going to be enjoying life, really enjoying life for the very first time once you get all those heavy metals and toxins and forever chemicals out of the body through sweating. All right, guys, if you want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com. You guys can book a consultation. Clearly, I'm not just talking about eating two pounds of beef and then fasting. It's way more intricate than that when it comes to balancing your health and getting into a homeostatic balance. Also, I have a course that's $15 a month. You can sign up through that at stephanieperson.com. And the challenge that's coming soon in September signups. I will announce the dates. $30 for 30 days of ridiculously packed information like this kind of stuff, right? And it all started with a client who had high urea and high uric acid buildup yesterday. Energy 55 going on 56. My Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. And I'm out. Life is good. Life can be freaking weird, but once you hack it,